What's up, y'all? Coffee done. So, uh, my daughter helped me figure out how to use this Ninja uh, coffee maker. So, uh, getting ready to have the first cup of coffee up and over here. And uh, it's pretty easy, but it can do a lot of things, guys. Um, and I'll go over that stuff with you. I ain't got my glasses on right now. Uh, but I can see it can do uh, salted caramel coffee, very vanilla coffee, and it can do uh, iced coffee as well. And then see right here, I don't know if you can see that, but there you go right there. Um, maple pecan coffee. Hold on, let me see if I can sit you somewhere. There you go. Uh, too good toffee coffee. <laughs> so whatever that is. Mexican spice <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Tossed out iced coffee and you know it give you the directions too on you know how to make all these different types a coffee coconut caramel iced coffee that sounds good mm. <laughs> mm. sorry y'all <laughs> Cappuccino style coffee, and it smells good. Uh, we just got I I bought some uh, Dunkin' Donuts uh, coffee because I like Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Iced Americano and iced coconut chai coffee. It's done. It's done. So we getting ready to have the first cup of coffee from this ninja so it's called ninja specialty coffee maker and you can cut the drip off and you can cut the drip off yeah you can do a cup you could do a mug and you can do half a, pot, a thermos a, pot. a thermos and a half a pot and a full pot and a full pot so we did a half a pot It has a permanent filter and you can use a paper filter as well. So let's see what it what it do. I got the hazelnut, the hazelnut uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee. So y'all let me know uh, what's y'all favorite uh, brand coffee. Do you like Starbucks? If so, if you like Starbucks. Um, Mm. Oh, that smells so good. And this is what I bought for the creamer. I got uh, Hazelnut International Delight. So, just in case you want to know the price of this, it was $2.77. And the coffee was... I think it was either twelve or fourteen dollars for the coffee. You doing iced? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna use regular? <laughs> All right, here you go. probably gotta put the ice in here. Inside already. Mm -hmm. and, and press it. Press the button and say over ice. Some stirrers. 
get some stirs and I'm gonna make a little um, section over there where you could have your sugar packs and all that little stuff over there. Are you still talking to YouTube? Mm -hmm, yeah, I'm talking to my fancy beauties. Y'all let her name y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they like their name. Ma'am. Mmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. How many sugars you put in yours? Mm -hmm. Two, three. Mm -hmm. Good gracious of life. That's a lot of sugar, ma'am. I don't like to taste the coffee. Golly. I thought I liked a lot of sugar. <laughs> so normally when I get my coffee out and about, like from McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts, I get one cream and seven sugars. That's how I do that. All right, it's semi-perfect. Mm. But it tastes good. I ain't really want nothing, y'all. I just want to come in here and let you know that I did my little, um, that I made the little first cup of coffee when my daughter did. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. I did. Um, I cooked. I the cooked. food was bomb. <laughs> 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 oh, I cooked some ham. And y'all, did you know that, and I just found this out, Smithfield brand ham. Although it's a very delicious ham, I found out that um, it's made in China or, or something like that. And they uh, don't treat the workers right or something. I got to do some research on it. But one of my friends told me that uh, yesterday. So I'm going to have to do some research and find out uh, what's going on with that. If it's true or not. It's true. And you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I cooked the ham. I cooked some um candy yams. Here, I'll show you what I cook. Hold on. Like it ain't sitting out. I cooked the devil eggs. <laughs> so there are the greens I cooked. I did uh collard greens mixed uh with uh, mustard. This is the um, candy yams. Those are really good. I put marshmallows, melt the marshmallows on, on that. And this pot, let's see, what do we put in here, child? Dang, she got, I think this is the ham in here. She wrapped it all up in the aluminum foil, but that's the ham. The um, pineapples on top of that. This is the macaroni that I made. Delicious, girl. It was so good. The dinner rolls. And uh, let me see. I think this is the deviled eggs that she made. Yeah. And those are the deviled eggs. So that's what she made. Um, so yeah, uh, let me show y'all. I uh, redid the fireplace with the Christmas uh, decor. Let me show you it. Let me see. I can show it to you this way. 
now you can do more of everything. No, nope, I can't do it that way. Alright, so there you go. That's what it looks like now. So I just put a one of them little skirt things down there. I ain't finished with it because I still I want it fluffy. So I got about another one to put there. And you see, I got another deer, and I got another uh, gold reindeer right there. But yes. So yeah, that's all I did with that. Uh, I put a, I put a deer right there. You see, I'm gonna bring you closer so you can see it. So I put a uh, same deer right there, and that's a candle. Let me see, and it smells so good. I'm trying to think. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vintage uh, Christmas tree. And it smells really good. It was... Let me see how much was it. That's how much it was right there, y'all. From Big Box. Six dollars. I'm trying to see if I can describe what it smelled like. Hold on. I can get the lid open. It smells like. Um, it almost smells a little manly. Uh, take you out a little bit. <clears throat> it smells a little manly. It smells a little Irish Spring soapy-ish. But it smells really good. So yeah, if you see that out and about, go ahead and, and get that at your um, Big Lots store. Uh, and you won't regret the choice. But Big Lots is coming up. They're they doing big things um, for us. So yeah, guys, I didn't want none. I'm getting ready to heat up this uh, apple turnover that I got from uh, Rib Country out here. So I'm going to heat that up and eat that. I'll show you what that looked like. So that's what that looks like. So I'm going to eat that because I want to tackle my bedroom I, I want to redecorate it um yeah so oh boy I went and picked her up from oh, excuse me from her hotel room out here cause she can't stay uh with me overnight and I'll go into that later, but I got to take her back to her hotel room um, tonight and then tomorrow I got to take her back to Georgia. So, this is a lot of, it's just a lot of craziness that's going on with this. But I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys and tell you about that. I know I've been saying that for months on end, but I am going to sit down and talk to you and tell you what's going on. Um, along with some other things. So just stay tuned because uh, I need, I want to get it done and talk about it before the new year comes in because 
I want us to be crystal clear about, you know, who I am, what's going on in my life. Because, um, you know, I feel like y'all are part of my family. You know, you you family. So, and then sometime I might want to just come on here and talk to you about, you know, what's going on, you know, personally with me. So, so yeah. So, just stay tuned for that. And, um, like I said, I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. I did. I went and hung out with my friends. And so, yeah, just family and friends. We had a good time. So, y'all stay, stay focused on what you're supposed to be doing with yourself. Stay positive. Stay faith. Just get some faith in God because... If you're going through anything, he's going to be the one that can pull you through it. Uh. Mom. So, I know a lot of times we think we can do it by ourselves, but you can't. You can't do it by yourself. You got to do it with with God. And I know it's hard, especially when you're going through it. It's hard to, to stay positive. It's hard to stay in the Word. It's hard to, to keep a smile on your face. But once you learn how to do it, which which I have learned how to do it when, when things come up and it's bad, I really learn how to truly have faith in God because... I didn't know how. I, you know, people would say that. All you got to do is have faith. Just, you know, go through it. Just don't worry about it. And I'm just like, okay, I've been hearing this since since I was a little girl, you know, because my mom took us to church every Sunday. We had to go all day long, child. Every day almost, okay? You had, you had Sunday school. You had Sunday service, you had afternoon service, you had Wednesday Bible study, all that stuff. So I have been in the Word. I've been around the Word, been everything in the Word, okay? So it's nothing new to me, but to be honest and truthful with myself, I've really recently, within the last couple years, have learned what that phrase really means to to have just a small faith just a small amount of faith in God and he will pull you through everything and I, I know I'm a living witness just wait till you hear the video when I tell it to you you're going to be like okay girl I understand what you're talking about now but let me get off of here because this pat is staring me in the face but I just want y'all to just take heed to that hold on to the word Stay on your knees. Stay uplifted. Get toxic people away from you. You don't need them people around you. Change your environment. That's what you need to do. You know, because um, you don't want nobody bringing you down. You don't want nobody changing your positive mindset. You don't want nobody to change what you're trying to accomplish in, in your life. So if you need to cut people off so you can get where you need to get, Go ahead and do that because at the end of the day, your goal should be to make it to heaven. And the only way you can do that is to stay in your word, stay true to God, stay true to yourself, and do what he wants you to do. Real talk. So, stay fancy. And no, always, always stay with us. All you got to do to do that is click that subscribe button, kick the, click the notification bell down there so whenever I have time, which I'm trying to get better, y'all, I am, so you don't miss a video from me. And I'll see you in the next video. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, Ninja. Cheers.